tackling the toughest projects, tirelessly pursuing technological advancements, taking trenchless construction to new limits. Our promise is to be the premier trenchless contractor in North America and internationally. Our goal is the continuous development of safe, reliable, and economical ways to meet ever-increasing demands for infrastructure installation with minimal surface disruption to our communities and the environment. Why? Because we believe pioneering trenchless technologies that expand opportunities, leverage innovation, increase efficiency, and help preserve our environment is the right thing to do. We've been perfecting the skill and science of trenchless construction since the 1970s. Today, we continue to expand our commitment and resources. Like our customers, we believe that safe, unobtrusive underground construction and rehabilitation is essential to the future of our nation's infrastructure. That's why we've perfected an array of trenchless techniques to construct pipelines and utilities in places where open trench installations would not be feasible or where others have failed. Our process starts with our team studying the desired outcomes, ground conditions, and other unique elements of a project to determine which method is safest with the highest probability for success. Regardless of the selected technique, our commitment is to meet our customers' goals and expectations for new underground infrastructure installations. That's what we deliver each and every day. To help you understand the similarities and differences of our trenchless capabilities, here's a look at our menu of new installation options. Horizontal Directional Drilling, or HDD, is a versatile trenchless technology we've been mastering since we first performed it in 1988. HDD uses powerful customized rigs to place utility lines substantially deeper than conventional trench construction, providing significant cover for crossings under waterways, existing utilities, and underground structures. Our fleet includes many sizes of rigs, including our largest, with drilling thrusts and pulling power up to 1.8 million pounds. In the hands of our skilled operators, these machines are capable of placing pipe up to 60 inches in diameter to distances of more than 15,000 feet. Since the early 2000s, we've been at the forefront of pilot hole intersects an HDD method that allows us to essentially double the potential length by drilling from each side of a project and meeting at a pre-designated point near the middle. Here's how HDD works. Design engineers plot the drill path, taking into account the dimensions of the crossing, projected soil conditions, and any existing utilities or structures. The first step is to bore a pilot hole. We measure the orientation and location of the drill bit using a magnetic guidance system. Magnetic and gravitational sensors read the direction angle and velocity of the bit along three axes. This information is fed back to monitoring equipment in the control trailer, allowing our operators to precisely steer the drill stem and plot its path as more sections of drill pipe are added. After the pilot hole is bored, the next step is to attach hole enlarging reamers to the drill string. The rotating reamers are pulled or pushed through to enlarge the hole sufficiently for smooth pullback of the pipe. After reaming is complete, we prepare the utility line and couple it to a lead reamer and swivel. The line is then carefully pulled back to the rig side. The travel and position of the pipe string is closely monitored. All rigs are flexible enough to be set up on virtually any type of terrain, even at the most remote locations. Here's a typical setup. An HDD job site is made up of two separate work areas, one at each end of the crossing. The rig side is where the majority of our equipment is placed. The pipe side is where the pipe string is assembled and eventually pulled through to the rig side. Large staging areas are ideal for HDD to minimize the number of pipe sections and the need to stop for welding during pullback operations. In addition to our landborne HDD experience, we have also completed many marine crossings, both land to water and water to water. 
Microtunneling is a versatile way to mine and build tunnels upwards of 10 feet in diameter in all soil conditions. We've been using this method and have mastered its use under high water pressure and in unfavorable ground conditions. The combination of a remotely controlled guided microtunnel boring machine, or MTBM, sturdy casing pipe, and pipe jacking operation provides for continuous support, making microtunneling effective for construction under roadways, waterways, areas with high groundwater tables, and other challenging situations. When conditions require it, we are able to adhere to engineered curves as well as typical line and grade designs. Because microtunneling is a closed face system, it can be launched from a shaft on land to a predetermined underwater endpoint. After a bulkhead is attached, the machine is disconnected and lifted to the surface. We've successfully completed dozens of these wet retrievals. Here's how microtunneling works. After a launch shaft and jacking frame are assembled, we lower an MTBM into place. A casing pipe is lowered into the shaft and connected to it. The jacking frame pushes the MTBM and casing pipe forward in a process that is continuously repeated until the drive is complete. Articulating steering joints and a guidance system monitor performance and allow the operator to maintain accuracy even in changing geology. Direct pipe is an emerging trenchless technique Michaels has used more than just about any other contractor since it was introduced in the United States in 2011. Direct pipe combines a powerful thruster with a steerable microtunnel boring machine, or MTBM, to install a prefabricated utility line with a continuously supported borehole, making direct pipe an appealing option for crossings under water bodies, levees, rail tracks, roads, underground utilities, and areas with high groundwater tables. Our equipment can be utilized to install pipes with diameters between 30 and 60 inches and to lengths of more than 4,000 feet. Depending on job site logistics, the pipe can be installed in long pre-welded sections or individual joints, which can be desirable in developed urban areas. Here's what you need to know. Direct pipe is primarily a single pass method that combines the best of HDD and microtunneling. If beneficial, it can also be used in a two pass method. After a microtunnel boring machine coupled with a pre welded and pre inspected pipe is launched from the surface or a shallow pit, we use a guidance system to track orientation and location. The information is transmitted back to the control container where our operators make necessary adjustments as the machine and pipe are carefully thrust along the alignment with up to 750 tons of force. Unlike HDD, all direct pipe equipment is primarily located on one side of the project, making it suitable for crossings with small footprints, wet retrievals, in urban areas, and even under international borders. Here's a typical setup. Direct pipe crossings are completed in small, shallow receiver pits or directly to the surface. Pipe Assist uses a direct pipe thruster with up to 750 tons of force to support an HDD rig during pullback of a large, heavy pipe string. When not needed, the thruster sits at the ready, fitted concentrically around the pipe. It can be quickly engaged when needed to propel a pipe that has become locked, immobilized, or just needs a little assistance. Think of it as a combination of peace of mind and power. Auger boring allows a casing pipe to be jacked into place under railroads, roads, runways, properties, and other utilities or environmentally sensitive areas with minimal disruption to the public. A standard trenchless method with highly technical variables allows for auger boring to be completed within line and grade industry tolerances in a variety of soil conditions. When extreme precision or long distances are required, we combine traditional auger boring with pilot tube systems or our HDD guidance systems. Here's how auger boring works. 
First, a launch pit is excavated to the length of the boring machine and casing pipe segments. Then a jacking frame and track are installed at the back of the pit. The combined auger and cutting head are placed in the pit, followed by the pipe segments and the boring machine. The machine pushes the cutter head and pipe segments forward as the auger carries the spoils out the back. Pipe segments and auger flights are added until the pipe emerges into the pit on the other side. While construction techniques may vary, there are many constants with all our trenchless projects. We've been performing trenchless construction for almost 50 years, and it shows. Our leaders, managers, and field personnel have amassed an extensive resume of successfully completed installations of all diameters and lengths, including previously unachieved feats. Our longevity is a testament to our commitment of sharing what we've learned to develop the next generation of trenchless leaders. Taking a proactive approach and working with owners and engineers as soon as possible in the life cycle of a project is critical in assessing and assigning the right installation method for our projects. Our design and engineering team members understand all facets of trenchless construction and optimization, including modifying plans and implementing additional precautions to minimize project risks, safety concerns, and environmental challenges. This detailed approach allows our field crews to have precisely the right installation methodology, equipment, and tooling ready for each and every project. Like a carpenter, whose success depends on the quality of the tools, so does our ability to drill miles underground and emerge exactly where planned or cross an environmentally sensitive river or area. That's why we use our in-house design, fabrication and maintenance facilities to develop, build and tirelessly improve our equipment, tooling and technology. If a solution does not yet exist, but our team has an idea of how it could happen, we use our resources and ingenuity to make it a reality. Working in remote locations with limited access to supplies, communication networks, and other modern conveniences has allowed us to develop time-tested procedures for overcoming unexpected situations that could stand in the way of success. We are experienced and execute projects each and every day in rural settings as well as dense urban environments throughout North America. Here are some of the ways we drive innovation in the trenchless infrastructure construction industry. Complete equipment design, maintenance, and metal fabrication facilities. Custom-built rigs and tooling created by a collaboration of field needs and engineering possibilities. A confidence and proven ability to perform in challenging conditions on projects others might not attempt. A desire to be the best research and development of new technology, developing the brightest and most talented workforce, continuing to build a track record for quality and safety. The innovative spirit that has guided us since our infancy is characterized by a desire to set the pace for evolving technology and performance standards, not to keep up with them. Michael's Trenchless Team, building the world under your feet.